Okay, this is my latest build. It's a digital microscope based on a Raspberry Pi and a Raspberry Pi high quality camera. Now I wanted to make it pretty sturdy because I didn't want it to get knocked over by some precocious cat. So I mounted it on a bamboo cutting board, which is a large base plate. And this steel shaft, one inch steel shaft, has a mounting cup at the bottom, but there's only one large screw to the bottom holding it to the whatever's underneath. So I needed a steel plate. I didn't trust the wood to be able to hold that screw without um, pulling out of the wood. So I salvaged a steel plate from an old printer which has a very heavy chassis so this is a heavy steel plate and I use these flanged button head socket screws to bolt it to the cutting board with these four cap screws four uh, cap nuts you might notice down here is a, a raspberry pi that's also being uh, beamed onto the the big screen over here so just to show you that it's working and displaying images so moving up we have a, of course this steel shaft and on the bottom here is a clamp that prevents the whole mechanism from sliding down and it allows me to loosen the uh, the mechanism and just rotate the whole microscope now this uh, mechanism here is a, a, a focus up and down mechanism a very nice smooth uh, gear there and then we have of course this bracket holding this big uh, microscope lens and it's got this adjustment to give us a different uh, magnification and I'll show you a higher magnification later at the bottom here there's a, a ring light which uh, I can increase the brightness of and it will illuminate whatever is below but I want to want to show that that's not the only or the best kind of lighting to have in here there's a, a retainer spacer ring to prevent the ring light from slipping off and then on top of it all there's this uh, cover which is powered from an external power supply so here we have a bracket that's holding the raspberry pi and it's clamped onto this adjustment arm and in front of it is another bracket which is a uh, a spacer lock to ensure that the Raspberry Pi can't slide around. On top of the camera we have another 3D printed cover which is just to keep the dust off the exposed circuit board that's uh, part of the Raspberry Pi uh, camera. We still have a keyboard and a, a mouse connected to the system. In here we have uh, the micro HDMI output to the monitor and of course there's a USB-C power going into it. So that's the basic digital microscope. It has lots of travel and you can see there's a nice large working space underneath the lens which is one of the reasons I got this giant lens here so that it can be spaced off the working surface or the working area. One of the other things I put on here is at the bottom of this lens there's a, a Barlow lens which actually reduces the magnification and gives a wider field of view so I can fit the entire Raspberry Pi Pico on the screen at least the whole width of the, the Raspberry Pi Pico. Without the Barlow lens uh, it would be a much higher magnification but even with it I can still get high magnification so I'm going to do that now right up to the maximum and 
put it in focus so that that's the edge of the crystal and this is the uh, one of the smallest components probably a an 0201 that's probably an 0402 um, maybe some more light from the ring light will help out so when you're really zoomed in there's not a lot of light going into the uh, lens and uh, it helps to have the ring light there I'm going to turn off one of my side lights and have a quick look at something so one thing I noticed was that in the Raspberry Pi symbol over here there's a blemish right there and with the ring light it just looks like a black uh, speck of dirt and we're zoomed right in on it but if I turn on the side light we can see that that's actually a solder ball and there aren't very many on the circuit board up that, that was the only one I found but it just shows you that if you get the right you need the right lighting to see some of these things like this this is how the Raspberry Pi captures that image yeah next up I'll show an application of using the microscope I built it to actually be used for things so I'll have to demonstrate at least one of them <laughs> 